move on. Let's uh, move on. Um, as you can tell, I'm, I'm fucking hype. I'm fucking turn. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling vibey. Um, okay, cool. So let's talk about this. Oh, quickly talk about this actually. Um, yo, big up Matt Rife, man. More, more, more blessings and more fucking success to Matt Rife. Although I don't think the guy's funny, and I still think fucking you'd be surprised is better than his comedy special on YouTube. I know that's a fucking awful hot take. And some of you are not going to agree with me, but that fucking comedy special that I tried to watch on stream and that nearly got my fucking channel deleted, <laughs> right? Um, that Matt Rife comedy special was fucking horrible. Disgustingly bad. I think you'd be surprised was better. But respect to that man. I don't care that he's obviously incredibly handsome and maybe that's part of his success. The fact that he's successful at this level without Joe Rogan's stamp of approval without fucking bowing down to the fucking throne of JRE, without sucking off LA-based comedians, you have to give this guy props. <laughs> like his comedy or not, the fact that he's doing it all on his own, without sucking off those guys and fucking dancing for the man, and he's building his own little fan base, his own little world. <laughs> respect. Fucking respect. Because this is a real fucking tour. And look, it's fucking sold out. Look how many dates this motherfucker's got. Look at how many dates. And they've all been crossed off. Look at these fucking dates. Look. Bond, Salem, Tacoma, Spokane, Atlantic City, Idaho, Las Vegas, Washington, Orlando, um, Riverside, Hollywood, Columbus, Kansas City, Savannah, Cedar Rapids, Austin, Wheatland, Sacramento. He's got dates going into 2024. 2024 dates. Perf. Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, fucking hell, New York, Milwaukee, Grand Rapids. Yo, he's doing two dates in fucking London. Fucking hell, mate. This guy is absolutely killing it. Absolutely killing it. And I'm, st again, I'm still a little bit confused. For those of you who are in the know, please tell me in the chat. I'm still a little bit confused. Um, how did he become so successful or so famous? Because I feel like he's like come out of nowhere. I had some people tell me it's half TikTok. I know that he was on um what's that show on MTV? He was on Wild and Out and stuff. But surely that can't be enough to be like this successful because it feels like I don't even know if he has a podcast. Does he have a podcast? I don't really see it. Let's see. Matt Rife podcast. Does he have one? Um Does he have no he doesn't have a podcast? He doesn't have one. He doesn't even have a podcast. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> That's absolutely sick. He fucking smashed it, mate. He absolutely smashed it. It's sort of like Louis C.K. Louis C.K. doesn't have a podcast. He appears on some here and there, but he sells out, um, you know, and he does fucking amazingly good. Okay, people are saying it's 100% Instagram Reels. It's really just TikTok that got him the majority of his demographic. Yo, I'm going to have to start doing some content on TikTok. I'm going to have to start editing some of my clips, putting fucking subtitles on it, cutting it super aggressive, and like put, putting it on fucking TikTok. I might start laughing at that now. <laughs> well, I'm going to start doing that. <laughs> Watch. I'm going to start doing that. Watch. I'm going to start doing that. Like. I'm going to start. I have to make a viral laugh. I have to start doing a viral laugh, right? I'm going to have to fucking. I have to get to that XQC money some way or another. I have to get to that XQC money. I'm going to fucking sell out. I'm going to start laughing. <laughs> Just bringing it on. I swear. <laughs> it's going to be so good. I can't wait. But yeah, um, big up fucking Matt Reifman. Honestly, much respect to that man. Much respect to that young man for doing it on his own. Um, doing it, you know, his way without the approval of Joe Rogan and those guys. Like, it's okay to get their approval. Cool, whatever. But it is quite refreshing because sometimes the the thing with Joe Rogan is similar to like Beyonce fans. No, similar to Beyonce, similar to Nicki Minaj. Like it's rarely the artists themselves that you hate. It's usually the fans are insufferable. And I feel like Joe Rogan fans, especially the comedians, not even the fans online. It's the fucking comedians that get on that show and want to jump over the table and fucking suck him off live on camera. They're nauseating, nearly annoying. 
So it's good for sometimes here and there to see some guys and gals who are able to make it outside of that JRE extended universe fucking bubble. It's quite nice to see. I'm not going to lie. So props to Matt Reif selling out on and world tour, an actual world tour. He's going to places outside of fucking America, outside of Central South America, you know, exploring parts of Europe and stuff. Big up fucking Matt Reif. Absolute fucking G. Actually, that being said, he actually isn't doing many European dates, if I'm not mistaken. So I guess the one market, this is the thing though, because he kind of looks a little bit like, he's kind of got a little bit of an SS vibe about him, right? He kind of looks a little bit like, you know, a little bit ss right? A little bit Nazi-ish, right? He, he, he's got that Aryan blood in him. If he finds out how to crack Europe, places like Germany, Italy, Spain and France, he's going to fucking kill it. A lot of those places don't speak English and shit, so it's going to be difficult because he doesn't have any many European dates. But if he manages to find out a way to crack Germany and those places with his Aryan, you know, Aryan race type of looks, he's going to fucking smash it. Honestly, he's going to smash it. I swear to God. Because he's got, he's giving, he's giving fucking Schindler's List, isn't it? He's giving like, hi, 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 hi. Like he's giving all that shit, do you know what I mean? So he's kind of got that vibe about him. So I think he's going to fucking do it. I honestly do think he's going to do it. He kind of looks like, you know, what was that Hitler movie where he's in a bunker? The Hitler movie where he's in a bunker and one and he tells one of his guards to like light him up on fire and stuff. I forgot a movie that which one that was. It's a really good one. Um, he kind of looks like that guy. There's a guy in that movie who he kind of looks like. Um, and he's a he's a kind of guard. He's a kind of a uh, Hitler's right hand man. Um, he kind of looks a bit like him. So if he manages to find out a way to fucking crack Germany, he's gonna be he's gonna be all over. Uh, you know, he's going to be giving outfits on that fucking stage. I mean, he's going to be fucking smashing it. So big up him. Big up what he's doing and stuff. Matt Rye for fucking G. Look at his fucking comments. He's got all the fucking celebrity people sucking him up in the comments. Paris Hilton probably wants to suck him up in the back room. I wonder if Tim Dillon is into him. Has Tim Dillon mentioned him? Because Tim Dillon, I don't know. Tim Dillon likes, likes like Twinkie, young looking type of looking guides. This, I think Matt Rye is kind of Tim Dillon's type, to be fair. Um... Paris Hilton says, what did I miss? Why is Matt huge now? This is crazy. I've been a fan for years. Jeffrey Ross says, I got one extra seat in Berlin if anyone needs it. Um, yeah, Scott. Oh, he's actually doing Berlin. Where's Berlin? I didn't see. Oh, yeah, cool. He actually... Oh, he is doing. Sorry, my bad. Oh, what? I'm, from... I'm a fucking idiot. He actually is doing some European dates. Here, here they are. He's doing Paris. Of course he is. He's doing Paris, Amsterdam, Berlin, Stockholm. Madrid and Milan. So yeah, he is doing some European. Day. So this is a proper, proper world tour. Uh blah, 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 blah. So, Okay, cool. So Ocha said, yeah, he he did compare himself to fucking Matt Rife. Okay, cool. Good to know. Uh so Paris Hilton likes him. Um Tim Dillon likes him also. This person, who's this one? Psychotic SG. Who the fuck is this person? Who's that? Who's Psychotic SG? No idea. How do you get verified with four thousand followers? Who the fuck is this? Is she someone's baby mother or something? I don't know. Anyway. Um, Braids and the white woman. Change it! Anyway, continue. Yeah, a scalpers bought up all the sh Ohio shows. And I re Oh, stop complaining. Shut up, you stupid bitch. Go on StubHub and get the tickets on resale or something. Or wake up earlier, innit? Fucking loosen up those braids. And maybe you might remember when the tickets are going on sale. Complaining about tickets. Yeah, let the scalpers bought it, man. Go cry to your mum. Anyway, another one says, it sucks for us we didn't get a ticket. Boo-hoo. You know what's funny about this? He's actually got people in his comments complaining they can't get tickets. That's actually quite good. Um, Crystal Lee is in the comments. Boo! 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 Crystal Lee are trying to fucking clout chase. <clears throat> Yo, Matt Rife, if you're watching this, stay away from that guy, man. Your star is fucking shining. You're going to the fucking moon. Stay away from that guy. Stay away, Matt Rife. Run. Run, please. I beg of you. Do not go near Crystalia. Do not go near Crystalia. <laughs> fucking hell. Anyway, trying to get tickets for the Narnia show. Hater. That comment is dripping in fucking passive aggressiveness and hatred, isn't it? Right? Look at him. Because... Chris Alea was Matt Rife before Matt Rife, right? Oh, fuck off. Um, someone, a waning said, congrats. Another bus happy for you, but I'm bummed. Matt, you're indeed funny. What's not funny is the course of a ticket. 1,000 in some cities. Wake up earlier, woman. 
Wake up earlier, Michelle, you stupid old bitch. Wake up earlier. Fucking hell. Put down the fucking yum yums and wake up earlier and buy the tickets, Michelle. Stop crying. Another one. We're going to need another tour. Swipe right. Whitney, Whitney Cummings. Boo! 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 Whitney fucking Cummings, man. Expired. Get out of here. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Uh, I wanted to get a ticket. Scalpers, scalpers, scalpers. Wow, what a, re what a weird comment section. He's actually got fans complaining that they can't get tickets. This is completely different to what I'm used to, to be honest. But yeah, big up Matt Rife. Absolutely smashing it. Big up, big up Matt fucking Rife. Ah. Anyway, let's continue. Um, what are we going to say? Actually, I need to blow my nose a bit. Bear with me one second. I need to blow my nose. I need to blow my nose. Bada bing, bada boom, we're back, we're back, we're back. <coughs> Yo, I'm never smoking again. My fucking throat is so fucking fucked right now. <coughs> I'm never smoking again. My throat. <coughs> anyway, <laughs> let's continue. I sound fucking good. Okay, cool. Let's continue. Um. Comedy mothership. Comedy. Who's saying this? <laughs> it's the allergies. Yeah, brother. I love how you guys legitimately think I'm on drugs when I do these streams and I'm hype. Honestly, you guys don't respect me right now. And I'm kind of feeling attacked. I'm kind of feeling like you guys don't respect my agency and stuff. And you kind of need to relax because I'm feeling a little bit attacked right now. And I'm kind of shaking. So relax, please. 